Welcome, and thank you for clicking on this video. You're here because you're interested in finding out how to transfer a project from your iPhone from the iMovie app to your computer. Why do you have to do this? Apparently, Apple does not allow you to upload to YouTube or Facebook or even Vimeo or any other social media websites more than 15 minutes. So in order for you to upload more than 15 minutes or if you want to do more to your videos and spice them up more, you have to transfer them to your computer. And the way you do that is the following. You have to go into iTunes Go into your phone tab when you have it connected. From summary that you'll never you you will normally see, you're going to go to applications. You're going to scroll down or move your cursor down. You're going to then go to iMovie, as you can see right next to it, you're not going to see, to see nothing. But all these applications that you see here could transfer not only to the iPhone or to an iOS device, from the iOS device to the computer, but you could transfer from the computer to the iOS device. All these applications that you see here you do not have to transfer the data from your computer to the iOS device, but you could transfer the data from the iOS device to the computer. So you could do it both ways. Well, for you to see the data of my project that I have here, we're going to do the following. We're going to go into iMovie. you see there. Then we're going to go into sharing. You see camera roll, YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, CNN report, and then something called send project to iTunes. You want to hit that. Send project to iTunes. Then you have to wait a while. It's going to take about 3-4 minutes. But while we're doing that, let's go to Safari and go to Support. Then go to iTunes, then applications, and in this FAQ over here, you're going to see how to do this and maybe other functions. But apparently Apple has not created yet a form how to transfer directly to the application. So you have to use iTunes as a conduit. No big deal. You could easily do that. Mind you, once you transfer your movie to iTunes, it's going to create a copy of what you originally have in the iMovie app on your iPhone. So if, for example, it's telling me that my project is 
3.5 gigs big. I'm going to have a double copy on my phone, so that means I'm going to have 6 gigs utilized for iMovie. I'm also going to show you how to delete the temporary file. Come with me and I'll show you everything. You could also favorite this video, subscribe to my channel, and add this and share it to your friends. Add this to Facebook as well. Because if you are interested and if you are thinking and trying to figure out how to do this, many other people are thinking about the same thing. We are about to finishing the transfer now. As you could see, 3.5 gigs. You click on the application, 3.35 gigs. You save to. You could hit desktop and then you name it. Hit open and then it's going to save. Once we have it saved, we're going to show you it. And here it is. It's saved to the desktop. Now you can manipulate it in iMovie or Final Cut Pro or any Adobe project or program I would say you could jazz it up but remember I said that you have now doubled your capacity in your phone you've taken away doubled that capacity let me show you what I mean it says that it's completed. Great. If you go into usage, you're going to have only 35 megabytes left. You can't do anything with that. Your phone is inoperable. So what you're going to do is the following. You're going to right click or no sorry not right click you're going to hit delete. It's something it's going to show are you sure you want to delete this selected document from your iPhone? Hit delete. And you're done. And if you go back to your phone, You will have three and a half gigs left. So if you ever wondered how you could transfer not only iPhone iMovie stuff, but iPhone, iPad, iWorks and third party applications data back and forth. This is how you could do it. Once again, this is Juan Carlos Gill. I hope that you've enjoyed this brief tutorial on how to
transfer data back and forth from your computer to the phone using transfer to iTunes. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. Thank you so much and have a great day. Take care. Bye bye now. But once we go, please subscribe. That helps me a lot and I will be able to bring you better content. Leave me a comment. Tell me how I did. I could improve next time. Take care until the next video.